Hi everyone, it's Mohammed from Swift Learner Driving School and welcome to our channel. Coventry is known as one of the toughest test centres in the UK and has around 20 test routes. Now each of these test routes have common areas where people struggle and fail their driving test. So in this video we've compiled 12 of those common areas in order to help you learn and successfully pass your driving test. We're on Hall Green Road in Coventry and we're turning right onto Bell Green Road. Now the lane splits into two lanes, there'll be a straight only lane and a right only lane, so we must be positioned in the right only lane to turn right into Bell Green Road. As we can see from up ahead, there are two separate traffic lights, one directing the traffic ahead and one directing the traffic to the right. So a common mistake here is, as soon as someone sees the traffic light turning green, they start pulling away, whereas we must make sure that the green arrow to the right turns on first before we pull away. Now we're on the A4 in Coventry and we're taking the first road left into Bell Green Road and then we're going to take the first road right into Nuffield Road. Now we're approaching two lanes and we need to move one lane to the right so we're just checking our centre and right mirror. We're also checking our blind spot and then we're going to enter the lane on the right once it's clear. Now here there's another lane on the right which is road mark right only, so we want to enter that. Now we want to be looking right and ahead. The reason is because this area can get very busy, so we want to be continuously looking. Now a common mistake here is people don't realise that there's two lanes of traffic coming ahead of us, and we must make sure both lanes are clear before we enter the road on the right. But well, once it's clear, we'll enter the road. Now something to bear in mind, this road is quite narrow, so we just want to be careful of our clearances from other vehicles. Now we're still on Nuffield Road, and this time we're turning right into Mulberry Road, which is the first road on the right. Now a common mistake here is people turn in too early and they turn into the opposite side of the road. What we must do is we must make sure we go past this yellow cone on the right and then turn into the right. Now here we're on Station Street West and at the end of the road we'll be turning right onto Lockhurst Lane. Now a common mistake here is people will just continue ahead whereas in fact the road bends towards the left. Now here this road is a one-way road now, so there will be no oncoming traffic coming ahead of us. Now as we said earlier, we're turning right at the end of the road onto Lockhurst Lane. Now as we can see from the road marking ahead, the lanes will split into two. There will be a left-only lane and a right-only lane. Now a common mistake here is people, they position in the left-only lane or in the middle of the lane to turn right, whereas we must be positioned in the right lane. And something to bear in mind here, that this road can be extremely busy, so we must make sure it's clear from both sides of the road before we enter Locust Lane. We're on King George's Avenue in Coventry, and we're heading towards Falzer Road. Now at the end of the road we can only turn left, and there are road markers on the ground confirming we can only turn left. Also there are signs up ahead confirming we are not allowed to turn right. A common mistake here is people attempt to turn right, whereas in fact they must turn left. Also something to bear in mind, that junction can get very busy, so be careful when you are pulling out of that junction. We're on wheel right lane, and we're taking the first left into Nunts Lane, and then we're taking another left into Parkville Highway. This area can get very busy, so be mindful of pedestrians walking out and other vehicles pulling out. Now this is the left that we're taking into Nunts Lane. It is quite a wide turn, so be mindful of your steering here. Now we've approached a turn into Parkville Highway. Now this turn is very sharp, so we must make sure the vehicle is slow and we're making a brisk turn to the left, keeping our vehicle on the left side of the road without obstructing the vehicles on the right. We're on wheel right lane again and we're taking the next right onto Winding House Lane. Now ahead of us there'll be a set of train tracks, also a set of yellow box junctions on the ground. That is confirmed by the signs up ahead. Now a common mistake here is people, they block the yellow box junction when there's traffic ahead. We must make sure it's clear before entering the yellow box junction. Now ahead of us there's a set of traffic lights just before the train tracks. A common mistake here is people, they block the train track. So when it's busy we must make sure we've got enough space to go past them. Now when the lights turn green we're going to pull away. This is a very busy crossroad so a helpful tip here is we can line our right door mirror with the yellow cone on the right. 
and this will allow the traffic behind us to flow past us from the left and not to get blocked. Now when it's clear we're going to make the turn, now something to bear in mind, the speed limit on the next road is 40 miles per hour, so if it's safe to do so, we want to try and build the speed up to 40 miles per hour. We're on Newgate Road in Bedworth, and we're heading towards a sharp S-bend. Now a common mistake here is people, they drift out into the middle of the road, and they block both sides of the road, whereas in fact we must stay close to the curb on the left and go around the bend. A helpful tip here is, if there's a large vehicle coming ahead of us on the opposite side of the road, we can give way before the S-Bend to let them pass. We're on Newgate Road again and we're just coming back on the opposite side of the road and we're approaching that sharp double S-Bend. Now similar to the last video, we want to make sure we stay in close to the curb on the left and try not to obstruct the vehicles on the right. Now when we come out this double S-Bend, there's a sharp left turn and the common mistake here is people go over the curb to go around the bend and we want to make sure we avoid doing that. We're on Wood Street and we're heading towards Nuneaton Road. Now similar to the last videos, we're approaching the sharp S-Bend. So we want to make sure we're keeping close to the curb on the left without obstructing vehicles on the right. This road now becomes Mill Terrace and then it leads us right onto Hill Street. At the end of the road, we're turning left onto Nuneaton Road. Ahead of us is clearly marked we must stop. A common mistake here is people do not fully stop. What I would advise here is to align the right door mirror with the front white line and to pull up the handbrake. Now this is a busy junction, which is a crossroad, so we must look right, ahead and left continuously. And once it's clear, we must pull away and build the speed up to 30 miles per hour if it's safe to do so. Now we're on College Street in Nuneaton and we're turning left onto Coventry Road. Now a common mistake here is people, they drift out wide when turning left and they go onto the opposite side of the road. So what I would advise is we must stay close to the curb on the left when turning. We're on College Street again and this time we're turning right onto Coventry Road. Now a common mistake here is people, they turn right too early and they go on the opposite side of the road. Now what we must do is we must follow the lane on the left, however position ourselves to the right, next to the give way sign. Now this junction can get very busy, so we want to be continuously looking right and left before we enter the road. Thank you everyone for watching and hope you liked our video. If you don't want to miss out on more of our educational content, please consider subscribing. You can also follow us on social media, the links are in the description below. Hope to see you again in our next video.